Africa and with this new Future Leaders Connect, um, I want to imagine that these are some of the things that will, they would want to be changed. So let me introduce my panel to you. I will start uh, with my immediate uh, right here. Tony Rayleigh is the country director of uh, the British Council. We also have Christine Mwangi, doctoral uh, fellow um, with uh, the Strathmore Institute of Public Policy and Governance. And uh, finally, uh, on my extreme right, we have Kelvin Muridi, an academic with three different degrees in low economics and public policy. And public policy. Thank you very much for coming in. It must be exciting. 2,200 Kenyans applied for this, and only five would emerge um, top on the list. Tell us more about this program, Yeah, they, they, the, the Kenyan future leaders or aspiring future leaders have given us a huge headache. Mm. In fact, um, <laughs> I more, can imagine. more than 20% of the total applicants from the 11 countries came from Kenya. Um, so a huge challenge. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't only about uh, quantity, it was also about quanti quality. quality. Mm -hmm. um, our colleagues in, in, in the UK who did the first SIF from the 11 countries were really impressed mm -hmm. by the quality of the applications, mm -hmm. the ambition, the aspiration, the talent mm -hmm. here in Kenya. So um, big challenge for us, but one that um, we're looking forward to. Um, great program to be on. Thank you for mm -hmm. having us. Definitely. I mean, World View is an interesting title. Mm -hmm. Research that we commissioned from Cambridge University to design this program mm -hmm. suggested that a global outlook, which is a world view, mm -hmm. is one of the most important yeah characteristics that we're looking for in What better place to talk about leaders. this program than exactly. this program? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, so what was the reasoning behind coming up with this particular program? Well, the, the, the aim is to create uh, a global network of future mm -hmm. policy leaders, mm -hmm. connect them, give them new skills, expose them to some existing uh, policy makers and leaders. Mm -hmm. So when the fortunate five go to the UK in autumn, They'll have an opportunity to meet parliamentarians. Mm -hmm. They'll go to the Houses of Parliament and take part in a debate mm -hmm. on global issues. Mm -hmm. They'll also meet the elders founded by Nelson Mandela, one of Africa's uh, most admi mm -hmm. admired leaders, mm -hmm. I mean, globally. Mm -hmm. um, Madiba Day was uh, on Tuesday yes. this week. Uh, so they'll meet the elders. So the, the, uh, the established leaders will meet the future leaders. Mm -hmm. And they'll talk about what it takes mm -hmm to be an effective leader in the 21st century. And the stakes how long? The whole program for the, the first the whole, five The whole years. program. Well, tonight at the Radisson Blue, um, 10 become five after mm -hmm. they use their three minutes to tell us how they want to change the world. Mm -hmm. um, and then the groups from the 11 countries, so about 60 young people, will go to the UK in mm -hmm. autumn for a program of development at Cambridge University. Um, and lots of interactions with existing leaders. And then when they return to their countries, they'll be part of the first intake of this global network. Wow. I want to imagine uh, Christine and Kelvin are among the 10 that are expected to be five tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be tough. Um, <laughs> at the Radisson Blue tonight, um, your, your viewers can watch it live. It's being streamed live. They go onto the British Council website, mm -hmm. britishcouncil.co.ke, and like our Facebook mm -hmm. page, from six o'clock tonight, they can watch it and see how the ten leaders pitch. You said um, it must be. Sorry for cutting you short, but it must be such a nail-biting experience for you. It is, and it's also really exciting. Uh, for the first time, a program of this nature that brings leaders from different parts of the world is, is available for us to apply for. And it is quite an exciting opportunity, a career-changing opportunity. The nature of, of problems that we're facing now around the world are so intractable and complicated that it, hel it, it requires a collaborative effort and perspectives from different people across the world. Mm -hmm. The participants from North Africa, from the UK, from the US, uh, from West Africa. So for me, it is exciting and nerve-wracking <laughs> because we have a very short time to say things that we have been studying for a very long time. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but it, it is quite exciting and, and it's a privilege to be, to be part of the 10. From 2,200 to yes. top 10, randomly, why do you think you have made it through all these numbers to top 10? 
Well, because um, policy is in my heart. I have done this uh, for the last 10 years. I started public policy uh, 10 years ago. It is something I left the private sector to join public sector work. I want to support our government and, and other development organizations in so, 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 so finding solutions to the problems that we're facing. So this is something I have been working on for a very long time. And so it feels like a match made in heaven. Wow. So, <laughs> <laughs> match yeah. made in heaven. Does it feel that way for you, Calvin? Yes, uh, as well. Um, I'm also very passionate about public, the public mm -hmm. sector and public mm -hmm. policy. And um, I'm, um, you mentioned some of the of the issues facing Africa, and I feel that um, young leaders have a place a place to play in this. Um, we can have an impact in changing the face of Africa, and I believe this is a great opportunity to to hone our skills and uh, enable us um, achieve this good, positive impact on our continent. So for you, if you're selected among the top five, and I hope you are, wish you all the best, what are some of the things you expect that will come out of this program? Well, um, definitely, um, uh, as Tony mentioned, um, the, the winners of this uh, program are going to interact with uh, policy makers in the UK and also get to interact with um, young future leaders from about 11 other countries. And I believe that um, that will be a valuable experience. Um, also, just to, to emphasize my own leadership ability. You know, sometimes you, you'd think that you're a leader, but you need, you need other people to, 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 to tell you that you have this potential and we see this in you and we believe that you can do this. And so I believe that for me personally, it'll be a, a chance to, 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 to encourage me to go into public policy even with more gusto and, um, and make a difference in Kenya and in Africa. What is one thing or what are the things you would really like to change about African leadership? Or you would like them to be different from what they are currently? Um, I feel that um, one thing I would really like uh, to change is um, a focus on uh, state capacity building as well as service delivery. I think uh, at the bottom, at the core of government, we should aim to serve our people better. Um, it, is, it is sad that uh, sometimes we say Africa is rising, but we still don't have access to electricity. We don't have access to clean water. We don't have access to good education and health. Some of the basic fundamental rights of a human being to survive. I think those are some of the things that um, African leadership should mm -hmm. focus on and, and um, that should change, mm -hmm. because uh, we are still caught in very many poverty traps and yet we are advancing economic, the globe, the globe is advancing economic, economically. Some of these opportunities for advancing in healthcare and education mm -hmm. are right within our grasp, but uh, still we are left behind in so many mm -hmm. ways. Yes. Finally, for you, yeah. quickly. I think for me, integrity is, is, is key. Um, um, in our country especially, and in also the countries that you mentioned, uh, you mentioned Cameroon, you mentioned um, uh, Equatorial Guinea, a lot of um, money is lost from these countries, um, leaves these countries, instead of coming, instead of remaining into the, in the countries and facilitating development in those countries. So for me, integrity is key. Wow, thank you so much. I wish we would have a long, longer period to discuss this. But tonight, we are streaming live from 6 o'clock to 8 p.m. at the Radisson Blue. The launch of the Future Leaders Connect will be coming to you live so you can stream in uh, on the British Council website. Thank you very much. Tony Riley is the country director of the British Council. Christine Mwangi, doctoral fellow at the Strathmore University of Public Policy and Governance. And finally, Kelvin Muridi, an academic with three degrees, low economic and public policy. Thank you very much once Thank again you. for coming in. And I wish you two the best of luck tonight. Thank you, Thank you so much. All right, let's take a look at something else. Garganton Hill climbs bullet speed distance.